Hi guys, uh, my name is Maeve and I am here with my new channel all about keeping invertebrates. So I've just decided to set this channel up because I'm a total beginner uh, at most species. At the minute I'm hoping to start to keep jumping spiders but I'm a complete beginner so I thought I would make this little channel to try and get a little bit of information from people, try and show people what it's like to start keeping jumping spiders and hopefully to provide a little bit of entertainment too and hopefully I get on okay. So today I just wanted to show you um, a little bit of the setup that I've started um, collecting. I haven't actually got my jumping spider yet, I probably won't be for about another month or so but fingers crossed by the time it comes I'll have everything set up. So just going to show you a couple of things that I've picked up. So first of all I have bought these little uh, spider sling enclosures. These are from Zara at the Jumping Spider House. Um, these are for juvenile jumping spiders, so slings. Um, I'm hoping to purchase a Phidippus Regis jumping spider. That's going to be my first spider. Um, apparently they're quite easy to keep for beginners um, and they're also really cute as well, so I cannot wait. Um, so I have these little sling enclosures. These will uh, keep my spider for the first couple of molts until they get a little bit bigger. Um, they're really cute, they're colourful, they're so nice, good ventilation in the sides as well, which is important. Um, I am hoping to get larger versions of these for whenever my spider molts a few times and gets a little bit bigger. Um, speaking of which, I have also got a little bit of substrate too. I got this Pro Rep Spider Life, apparently it is very good, I've heard good reviews for it. I'm going to just use this in the sling enclosure, so the smaller enclosure. Um, just for the start and then I'm hoping once I get my bigger enclosure I'm going to create a bioactive environment for my spiders so fingers crossed whenever the bigger enclosure comes and the rest of my equipment comes again thank you Zara from Jumping Spider House for being so helpful Um, hopefully I will be able to get my bioactive set up on the go and I will try and put out a few videos of me trying to do it so that beginners can maybe do it as well fingers crossed um, so that is just my substrate at the minute. I've got my sling enclosures. Um, I also have a couple of little different things here. I have my misting bottle for misting them. It might be a little bit small, but they're only going to be small. Tweezers for my live food. And just a little extra enclosure and an extra little bit of coconut husk, it looks like, which I'm sure I'll be able to use in my bioactive um, setup. So fingers crossed it all goes okay. Uh, I also have a lamp coming from Argos, so hopefully that should be here soon. A little LED lamp to provide my new spiders with adequate lighting. It's quite a nice bright room in here and I also have a radiator over here which is also nice and warm so um, the room will be kept nice and toasty anyway. And I'm also getting a few um, thermometers and hygrometers. hygrometers. Uh, they're going to measure the humidity of this room and I'll also keep them um, in my bigger setup. Long term plan, I'm hoping to also get uh, back into praying mantises. I did keep a mantis a long time ago and I would love to keep another one. So I'm going to go for a giant Asian mantis. Uh, I'm not even going to try the Latin pronunciation but I will learn it for whenever I get my new mantis. But a giant Asian mantis I'm hoping to keep so I have an enclosure coming for that too. Um, and I then would maybe hope to keep beetles as well. I'm looking at sun beetles and I'm also looking at Malaysian jungle nymphs too. So. Fingers crossed everything goes well. I'll document it in my new channel here and hopefully you will enjoy my journey. So enjoy and thank you.